school, teachable, Kajabi. There's all these different options when it comes to e-learning platforms that you can set up a course on and build your paid community online. However, finding the right one can be a bit tricky. So today I'm gonna answer the question of which of these platforms is best and not which one is best for everyone, but which one is best for you. This is gonna be a comprehensive review. And in this, I'm going to go through four key parts. So I'm gonna start with the strong points of each. We're gonna talk about the weak points of each. Then I'm going to open up a comparison table where I share all of them side by side and I make my own personal judgments and give them a rating. Now I have to disclose that this video is going to be completely honest, but today's video is sponsored by school. I'm going to talk about school's weak points and strong points, but it was a great fit when they reached out to me and said that they wanted to be a part of this video. So school's a platform that makes it quick and easy to set up a course, collect subscriptions and manage your community. So let's go ahead and dive into the strong points of these softwares right here, right? So they're all very good and capable at certain things. And I wanted to highlight those things for them. So Kajabi is the best of the bunch when it comes to quizzes and aptitude tests for your audience. So if you want to keep track of this sort of thing and you want to have lots of different long form answers, multiple choice answers, you can do that inside of Kajabi. Now, another nice thing about Kajabi is they have a built-in website design platform, so you can set up your landing pages very easily, and you can even create full-blown funnels. So this helps you out with marketing. Kajabi is the best out-of-the-box CRM and email marketing solution out of all of these custom solutions that I'm going to share today. So if you are a big marketer and you wanna have a nice all-in-one solution, then Kajabi's for you. Aside from that, it's better for marketing pushes that require connecting to other platforms and utilizing a CRM as well, because there's lots of different API endpoints you can attach to. And Kajabi also has more native integrations than anyone else on the list. Yes, these others may connect to Zapier or Make, but at the end of the day, Kajabi is going to beat them on a list of just integrations that they have built in. So that is a big selling point for Kajabi. Now, Kajabi is pretty much just the all-in-one when you think about it. They have all of the marketing in one place. They have good quizzes. Their e-learning platform itself, I would say, isn't quite as strong as, say, a Teachable or a School, and I'm going to tell you why. Now, let's jump into Teachable's strong points. Teachable has a flexible content layout for lectures and content, so you can format a course however you want with Kajabi, for instance, you're limited to four types of courses. And with Teachable, it's just more of like a free form build, similar with school, actually. And with Teachable, you can also issue course completion certificates. This is the only one out of these apps that allows you to do this. So if this is something that you want to keep track of and you want to issue a completion certificate when someone is done, with your course in Teachable, you can set that up. Now, Teachable might be considered more beginner ready since there are some lower pricing tiers that you can start out on, but just keep in mind that they are going to charge you a fee for running your course sales through Teachable if you start on their lower free tier. So Teachable is a capable standalone e-learning platform. Now let's talk about the strong points of school. It's nimble. They have an experienced team that is very involved and they even have their own school community where they have courses on how to use school and how to leverage it better for your business. There have actually been a few features that I've even had a say in at school because the community is just so tight knit and connected that you can put a suggestion out there and it might end up in the platform next week. School offers an all-in-one solution for subscription payments. They didn't always do this, but recently they've added their own subscription payment platform. So you don't have to go through Stripe and the fees are even lower than Stripe with this subscription platform. So I really like this about school. They're innovating. They're making it cheaper than ever to do subscription groups. And I just hope that they have one-time payments as well someday, because right now it's just group subscriptions. And that leads me to our next strong point of school, which is community re-engagement. It's nearly automatic and it's very easy. The notification system within school keeps people coming back to your community time and time again to learn more and buy more courses. Another strong point of school is that you can create unlimited courses that are easy and quick to set up with many options for video embedding. So you can use all these different uh, video embedding softwares if you want to, such as Vimeo, YouTube, Loom, 
one of the things they encourage at school is just like getting off the ground and getting started. So Loom can be a really quick way to make videos for your course. You just click a couple buttons, paste a link, and you're good to go. And school even claims that they're working on in-house video hosting. So we may have in-house video hosting at school someday where we'll be able to upload our video directly to them and they can host it on their platform. Probably more secure than having a YouTube link floating around out there. So school simplifies making money online and it focuses on community and community re-engagement. Let's go into the weak points. So the weak points of Kajabi. Well, Kajabi doesn't do everything as well as specific tools can. So I mentioned earlier that Kajabi is kind of this all-in-one and it certainly can be. But when you have an all-in-one tool, sometimes you run into this thing where it might not have certain web development features or it might not have certain email marketing features that you need. So for people who are technical and they want a custom solution, you're probably going to want to steer away from Kajabi and set up your own email marketing and web development. Now, weak points for Teachable, it can feel a bit generic and the UI doesn't always satisfy me. This is more of a personal remark. It's simply not great as a sales funnel tool. Yes, you can create these sort of like landing pages, but I believe that you're gonna have better success using a standalone sales funnel tool. That's gonna be the trend here. You're gonna see me saying that time and time again. And their free plan is there, but it's limited and it's expensive to have unlimited courses now. Now let's get into the weak points of school. They have no native landing page builder that rival the other tools. It's better to just go with like a normal landing page builder than to rely on one of these e-learning platforms to be your landing page. Unless of course, using subscriptions on school. Now school also lacks API access to different actions in the scenarios I want to create. So there's only a few API actions that you can actually take. And I think one of the only useful ones for that matter is unlock course. So you can have somebody unlock a course based on a payment outside of school from a different platform. Now let's hop into my comparison table and I'm actually going to rate these now live. So we're gonna start with quizzes and polls. School does have polls, but not quizzes. I'm gonna give them a Oh, let's give them a six on this because if you are somebody who's trying to actually use school to get like a pulse on how well your audience is doing, it's not the best for that sort of analytic. But for Teachable, I would say it gets a bit better for quizzes and polls. They've definitely got some better uh, quiz and poll options. But I would say Kajabi is definitely a nine because they have even more options. You can even do long form answers within your quizzes and polls. School does have polls, but they're not really attached to the course necessarily. You can add a poll as an action item on a course in school, but it's not directly tied to that in any meaningful way for the owner of the course. Now, in terms of built-in web design, I would say school's platform overall is very well put together, but it's not your own website and it's not going to suffice as a landing page unless of course, you're just doing a subscription course, subscription community, in which case you can go with this built-in web design. Uh, but that is basically, like I said, it's just a simple landing page where they can start subscribing to a community. So I'm gonna give school a three on built-in web design. Uh, and by the way, this is out of 10, that you may have gathered that, but it's out of 10 on each of these, and then I'm gonna total them up at the bottom. In terms of web design for Teachable, I'm gonna give them a five. They have it, but it's just meh. And then with Kajabi, it's a little bit better than Teachable, but still kind of meh. So I'm gonna give it a six. And then on to payments. Now, if you're doing subscription, school is probably the best way to go for this course community subscription setup. However, if you are doing one-time payments, it can be a little bit more challenging with school but still definitely possible if you uh, set up like a zap or a make integration or something like that. So for payments, if it, everything were set up like their subscriptions and one time was to, and you could gate different things based on the payments other than just the community, I'd probably give it a higher score, but for now I'm gonna give it a seven. I'm being generous on this because their, their subscription platform is amazing. Uh, now on to Teachable, their payments, uh, I've got mixed feelings about this. So they charge a fee to their free users for payments. But as far as I can remember with Teachable, they're probably a seven on payments as well. 
And for Kajabi, they have Kajabi payments in beta for their US users right now, it looks like, but I believe that they're just using Stripe. So nothing too inventive here. I'm gonna give them a seven. Again, school would have been higher being that they have their custom platform and Kajabi might have been as well, but these platforms just aren't developed enough yet and you still rely on Stripe heavily to run most communities from my experience. Now, in terms of curriculum types, like what types of curriculum you can put out, I would say that Kajabi is a bit limiting while Teachable and School are a little bit more freeform with the types of content you can put out. I prefer the freeform approach and I'm gonna give both of these guys an eight on that. And then I'm going to give Kajabi a six. It's not that it's necessarily bad in terms of curriculum types, you just don't have as many options. Next up, we have community and community meaning like basically if the platform allows for people to post and interact with each other and message each other. And school is definitely focused on this area. They're definitely focused on making a solid community. And I would say right now, if I have to look at all the other alternatives in the market for platforms like this, I would say that they're probably a nine or a 10. I'm gonna give them a nine just because I think they're still working on it and adding new features and improving. Teachable, they're kind of out of the question. They don't really have a community. They just talk about how you can integrate with Circle. I see a lot of people using Facebook groups for their Teachable courses. So I'm gonna give them a one on this. And for Kajabi, they have a decent platform. I haven't used it a whole lot, but I have seen some video footage of it and I've looked at it a bit. And I would say I don't really have a very strong opinion on this. So I was going to give them like an average of like five, but considering that I don't have a lot of experience and I'm just kind of comparing it feature to feature, it looks like they have posting. It looks like you can see how many people are online. You can sort of host events. So I've got to give them a bit of a higher score. I think I'm going to go with an eight for Kajabi. Let's look at integrations next. For integrations, schools integrations, not that great. They could do a lot better at adding more actions that you can take inside of school. And right now it seems a bit restrictive. So I'm going to give them a three on integrations. Although you can do some integrations, maybe we'll give them a four, a little bit less than average, but still, uh, still working on integrations a bit. Teachable, you know, anything that works with Zapier or this or that, you know, um, they do have some native integrations. I'm gonna give them a seven. And then for Kajabi, they've got the most native integrations, probably the best overall integration scenarios. So I'm gonna go ahead and give them a nine on integrations. Now, our final category here is marketing. And what I mean by this is like, how much marketing can the platform itself provide for you? And I'm going to be mainly honing in on School and Kajabi in this one because these are the only two platforms that really allow you to fully market yourself. Teachable does have some built-in like emailing and stuff like that, but I would say overall, uh, Kajabi and School are meant to be marketing tools as well, whereas Teachable is not so much. So I'm gonna give Teachable, we're gonna start with Teachable. I'm gonna give them a four and for Kajabi, since they just have like all these tools built in, even though they're not all the best, I would say a seven, eight maybe, I'm gonna give them an eight. And then school doesn't have as many marketing features, but it just naturally works better as a marketing tool, in my opinion. And you get a higher caliber of people that join your community on school, I've found. I'm gonna go ahead and go with a nine for marketing on school. So at the end of this comparison, Kajabi comes out on top in terms of total features and their overall presence. School comes in second with 46 and Teachable comes in last with a 40. Now I've experienced these three tools at varying levels, but I would say I've probably spent the most time with school so far and school has just been the ultimate platform for my community. So school is my favorite platform. As I mentioned, I did wanna share my key favorite platform that I use. I used to be more in Teachable, but moved to school. And Kajabi for me, it's just, I'm more of a toolbox person. I, I like to have different tools to pull out of my box and be able to use them for different things. Um, so Kajabi being that it's an all-in-one tool might be good for people who are a little bit more elementary in terms of their knowledge of email marketing, or they don't wanna have things all spread out. But for me, I think you're just better off going with the platform that does it best and gets the job done. For me, that's school. 
All right, let me know your guys' thoughts below. I'm interested to hear, and we'll see you guys in the next video.